second interview of today. We are out in Kirkville now, hanging out with Todd Cagle. I met him last year. Last year was his first official full season of racing. He did go-karts, and he had been in a car about four times before that in a full-size ride. Last year, he ran Skyline Weekly with what is now considered a hobby stock. Tenth in the point stands there. Also ran at Pencan 5 Mile, and Fulton had three, or excuse me, four top five finishes. One at Pencan, two down at Skyline, one at Fulton. And speaking of Fulton, that is where he is going to be this year. We'll talk about some of the changes. First of all, I haven't seen you in about a year. How you been? Good. How about yourself? Good. Car's ready. Could we race today? Uh, not today. Not okay. Today. What's left? What do we have to do? Uh, front bumper, finished painting. We're getting our rear end fixed today. Mm -hmm. So probably another week it should be ready. What happened to the rear end? No, we're just switching it from drums to disc brakes. Makes sense, right? Okay. I it, guess. Well, and did the cars, did the Monte Carlo in the 80s come with disc brakes on the back or no? no? Okay. And you can do that. Uh, supposedly. We're okay. going to find out. Yeah, because a lot of the cars <laughs> in the 80s, they had discs in the front and drums in the back, unlike the cars in the 60s where they were all drums and try to get those to stop quickly, and it's not exactly going to happen. So what kind of stuff did you learn getting out? Because what did you get out? Maybe 20, 30 times? Something like that? Uh, something, yeah, probably. What did you learn that you didn't know before? Just the driving styles. It's a lot different from when I raced in asphalt, for sure. Throttle control, trying to keep the car sideways and straight. Mm hmm so and before that, you did. Was it this same car four times, or was it something yes. else? Yep, same car. Okay, just so different body. When did it start to click? Second year, for sure. I uh, mean, was probably like point? the fifth race. About the fifth race. That's when yeah. it turned around. Was there a? Oh, okay. I get this moment, or did it happen gradually? Gradually, for okay. sure. All right. I was spinning out a lot. Oh, okay. And you told me you had some bad luck at the end of the year, which oh, yeah. made you have to buy something new for this year. <laughs> yeah, I kind of broke three axles and. Almost went upside down once, and Whoa. hit the wall head on twice. This wasn't our luck at okay. the end of the year. Nothing really bad happened, no. though. No, just the I blew a motor too. Yeah, that was the one. I, yeah, that's why I yeah. asked you that question because I forgot about that. I thought you were gonna. I, I try to forget that one. Oh, okay. So what do we have now for a motor? Uh, I still got a crate motor. Bought okay. a brand new one. Oh, well, not brand new, but okay. new to us. Okay. And it doesn't have to be sealed or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be sealed. It doesn't. It doesn't, but it yeah. is. Okay, all right. So you got it from somebody yes. who ran it in a sportsman kind of thing nope. or something? came out of another hobby stock. Oh, another hobby yeah. stock. Okay. And I've seen these hobby stocks. We've had them now at Canandaigua. I think we've had them there for two years. They're new at Fulton this season. Um, so that's where we're going to see you? Yes. At Fulton? Full time, yes. Well, it makes sense, right? You're a Kegel. I yeah. mean, uh, makes sense that you'd be at Fulton. And, and I also know they have two shows at Brewerton, too. So Correct. Looking forward to, to getting oh, yeah, closer yeah. to home. I'm trying to, uh, hopefully I like Brewerton just a little bit more. Oh, okay. Tougher track, though, people have told you That's that, That's what right? they said, yeah. Three yeah. and four is definitely difficult, they said. Well, also standing on those brakes and making sure you don't yeah. step off too much speed in one and two while you still get an exit. Yeah. Where Fulton is, well, have you been on the track at Fulton yet in anything? No, right? Yes, twice this oh, year. Oh, you did last year? Last year. What'd you think? I love that track. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Three uh, go fast, turn left. And three and four is a little tighter, basically? Actually, I, I one and two was harder for me. Really? Why? It's a lot more, it's more of a driver's track over there mm -hmm. than three and four. You just kind of let the car do its thing. Oh, really? It just kind of yeah. takes a set and you just yeah. work the throttle and, and drive right through it then. Okay. Did you get close to a win last year on any night? Uh, I was up to third at Penn Can once, mm -hmm. but then broke an axle. Oh, that was one of the yeah, axles Yeah, the axle broke. came right out and passed me. Really? Oh, so yeah. the tire and the axle together came well, off? The whole thing, yep. <laughs> I've seen that before. Yeah, I was you you actually third. saw it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It went right up and over turn three and four's bank. <laughs> Which one was it? Left rear, right rear? Left rear. So the car all of a sudden just took yeah, a, it just took a blue, dropped. You know, just yep. dropped like that. And did you know what it was right away? Uh, no. Before you saw the tire? No, no. <laughs> no. I saw it pass me, and that was that. Did you chuckle a little bit, or was it like, oh, man? I was more disappointed because that was probably the best race yeah, that yeah, I've had. You, you were in the highest place you'd been all year. Oh, so. yeah. Well, what do they say, right? Cars never break when they're last, do they? They always <laughs> break when they're, when they're when it's going well, right? Oh, yeah. Big change. I just happened to notice you unloaded something from the pickup truck. Oh, yeah. We got brand new Hoosiers a couple weeks ago. We mounted them today. Mm -hmm. And we're going to run those at Fulton mm -hmm. and keep the DOTs as spares for if we do want to go down south. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's the rule difference. No, we can run DOTs at Fulton. Right. It's but your you choice. can't do them without at Skyler. What about Canandaigua? Where do you even know? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. I've never been to Canada. Well. Never been there. Okay. Well, why did you get into this in the first place? What what appealed to you about this particular type of race car? My grandfather and mm -hmm. uncle, they raced back in early 2000. My grandfather racing back in the 60s. So mm -hmm. 
I was just naturally born into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you go back, I did an interview with Howie a while back, and he, I didn't know about his career in the service and all the stuff that he did. So he's a fine American, and I, I didn't know anything oh, yeah. about that. So, so really, for the Kegel name, it's a stock car, right? Oh, yeah. Hopefully, I can move up to sports ones, though. Oh, I, that was going to be my next question. So a sport, because I was thinking, if you like stock cars, that a sports one's not even something you'd want to do, no, but it is. Yeah, my cousin James just moved up to sports ones, and I want to race with him for a while. Okay. So. We'll see what happens. What will make that determination? Because obviously the biggest thing is obviously there's a little bit more money involved. Uh, this year, we're going to see if I can get a top two. Mm -hmm. If I can get a top two and I can control the car better, then we might think about moving up. So it'll all be results-based, not oh, yeah. necessarily. Okay. If I'm not right, if I can't drive this good enough, I know I'm not going to be able to handle Swordsman. Yeah, because so. some people will say, and I want to know what you think about this. Some people say you need to learn how to win. And they, they, and I just want to get your thoughts on this because people say lots of things, obviously. Yeah. But they say you have to learn how to win. So until you win, you should stay where you are. Do they have? Is there some justification in that? Do you think? Uh, in a rear-wheel drive, maybe. But if you're in a four-cylinder, and you've never driven a front-wheel drive car, well, it might yeah, be then you want to move out and right. get to it. Yeah. Uh, with sportsmen's and car class, the suspension, tire size, yeah. all that counts into factor. Yeah. So, I mean, if you can't drive this, I think I, you might not be able to handle a sportsman. Well, I've heard some people say that have gone from stock cars, even pro stocks and yeah. stuff, to a sportsman. They say the sportsman's almost easier to drive. You've heard that, right? Yes. Because I you're in the that. middle and it handles better. you got better shocks. They so, say that the sportsmans drive themselves. Yeah, they kind of lead you into the corner mm -hmm. and then you just slowly counter steer. And there's a lot of guys in go-karts who are a sportsman. They do well because you got to keep them straight. Where this, no, you don't want to keep it straight. I, if straighter's faster. But that's my thing is a lot of people down south, they throw their cars in there like mm -hmm. sprint cars. And right. I'm not there yet. Yeah. So. Oh, your, your skill set not quite no. comfortable enough to yeah. do it? Or no. the car? No. Or? I'm not trusting these axles just yet. Oh, I see. So it's more of a mechanical <laughs> thing than anything else. Okay. So. I understand. So the goal this year, obviously, is to get that trip to victory lane if oh, we can. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's at Fulton, too. Yeah. That would be nice. So I'm curious, what did the, these Hoosiers go for, these tires you bought? Uh, it's, I've heard they went up to almost 200. Mm -hmm. uh, I paid like 190. So 190. Right there, yeah. Okay. We just got the four. We got a couple spares. Uh, I think I got five all together. Six all together. Six all together. Yeah. And hopefully the two will. I went to go buy more and I walked in. Someone buy, bought the rest of them while I was walking in. So. Ah, so you got what was left basically. Yeah. At that point. Yep. So, all right. I have to get, I'll, I'll get with Kevin here um, in another week or two and we'll give you an update on how the parts and everything looks because I saw some of the prices online for some of the other tires and man, I couldn't believe those numbers I was seeing. Could you? No, no. Our DOT tires, I call the our DOT guy that we go through mm -hmm. and our, it was 150. Now it's 190. Wow. Yeah. So that's a good that's 20 percent and more. Yeah. I have an increase right there. So, uh, does this run on race fuel or pump gas? Pump gas. Okay. Uh, don't use the DB 98. You just use 93 octane, um, uh, like the recreational fuel or do you use we're the using 87? Or, you're using 80, so oxygenated yep. and ethanol and all that stuff. So, okay. Um, what can you do to make it faster? What, what kind of adjustments can you make over the course of a race night? My driving. <laughs> so really outside of tires, no, stagger, or offset? Right now, last year our car was fast. Mm -hmm. At Fulton, I was, I was running third at Fulton at one time, too. Okay. And just my driving got in the way. Ah, that's that's okay. where, it's, where I'm at right now. Well, considering your experience, I yeah. mean, that's, that's still going to happen. And I've seen championship modified drivers make a mistake going <laughs> in a corner, too. So it's tough to do. How many laps they run, 20 or 15? Uh, I've only ran 25 at once, wow. and the other one was 20. Okay, so right. it's tough to be perfect on 50 sets of corners, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it just doesn't yeah. happen, right? I try so. to follow, like, I let, at Fulton, I tried following Ronnie Hawker, and it was just, mm -hmm. I couldn't keep up with him. Couldn't keep up. No. Okay, yeah, Ronnie is back, in case you missed that. Uh, he was actually with us at Canandaigua, that old Camaro. Oh, yeah. He used to run oh. uh, as a pure stock. Wait, yeah, that oh, was, you ran against him, too? No, oh, that was my grandfather's old car. That was your car? I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. That was Herb Duvall's car. Okay. Okay, so yeah, because I know the car's been around a while. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's about a 30-year-old car, maybe more, 40 yeah. years at that point. So, um, so outside of that, bumper, and what would you say the other things you got to do? I need to mount my seat, uh, just tighten up some stuff. Really, mm -hmm. that's about it. That's it, then you're yeah, all set. We were going to try to make it tomorrow to 5 Mile, but it's just a lot of work. No, I understand. I do. I do. All right, so... Um, Geez, we ran a little bit later than I wanted to here, so uh, I'll have to get your sponsors on a second one here, so I'll do a second one with you real quick, okay? Right. Guys, hit the blue E. Let you know every time we're doing something cool.